important thing here, Prabhupada points out here, <clears throat> either by hearing, seeing or meditating, the objective is the transcendental form of the Lord. There is no question of voidness or impersonalism. If you see in the ladder of yoga, yoga ladder, there is the stage of jnana, and below that there is the stage of karma, when one wants to enjoy sense gratification, but under some regulations given by the Varnashrama system, and then gradually one becomes uh, enlightened, and when one is enlightened, generally that stage of jnana results in not much of details of the transcendental reality, but it is more of detachment, understanding that this material world of forms, relationships and activities are all temporary and there is something more than this that one should aspire for. So at that stage, generally, there is no clarity of the understanding of the transcendental form of the Lord, but it is more often of a transcendental reality. And the impersonalists generally dwell in that aspect of the yoga, jnana yoga, and they mostly conclude about impersonalism. And the next stage of the jnana, after the jnana, is the dhyana. Hare Krishna, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.